everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and you are watching Growing Green. Today I have a super exciting video for you. This is gonna be a multiple part series in which I show you how I am growing my caladiums. Now I've never ever 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 grown caladiums before. Um, they seem really complicated but everyone says that they're super easy because they're just bulbs. So bulbs can't be too hard. Hopefully. Stay tuned to find out how I plant my Caladium bulbs. So this is going to be a multiple part series and this part is going to be all about how I'm going to be planting them, what I'm planting them in, the kind of soil mix and all of that good stuff and also where I bought them from too. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe down below. Also hit that like button if you do like this at the end of the video and yeah let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start off by telling you where I got my Caladium bulbs from. So up until about, I would say probably a month, maybe two months ago, um, Caladiums weren't really a thing in the plant community here in New Zealand, um, but everyone has started importing them now and there are lots of different bulbs on the market. There are also a lot of different people selling them. and. If you've been watching the Instagram plant community slash trade me plant community, there has been a lot of strife about these bulbs. I only purchased from this person because purely they were the cheapest and I don't have the budget. There has been a lot of controversy around the cost of these bulbs. So there have been some people who have been selling them or were selling them for $350 each at the spiking stage, which is when they're just starting to shoot or full plant stage and then there are people who have been selling them for $50 and I purchased them off the person who was selling five bulbs for $50 and they were the cheapest. That's it. So the people I purchased this off were these people here, they are called Kiwi Ladiums. I just messaged them on Instagram because I was at work and I missed the first lot of auctions that come out and I had a mild panic attack and I said hey look I really really want them but I've been at work, I can't get them, can you help me out and we managed to do a transaction via Instagram. And the next week I had my Caladium bulbs. So I'm going to show you how they arrived first. They came in a $4.50 post bag. So I got the five for $50 deal and I'm going to open them up and show you everything inside my package. So the first thing in the package is a little card. Thanks Rachel. When you purchase your Caladium bulbs, they are going to show up like this. I got five different kinds. So the first one I have for you is Candidum. I'm going to try and hold the bulb up and the picture at the same time so you know what they're going to look like. There we go. So that is what this one is going to look like. It's called Candidum. The next one out of my goodie bag is Rosebud. That is Rosebud there. It's like a really nice green outline with pink in the middle and also white. So that one should be very interesting. The third one that I'm pulling out of my goodie bag is June Bride. So many here I have to go like through them and find out which is which. Ah, here we go. So that is June Bride there. It's another lovely white one with a green outline. The fourth one I'm pulling out is, this is probably my favorite one I think. This one is called Red Flash. Look at that color. It's gonna be Starting. And the final one I managed to get my hands on was Gingerland, which looks like that. So that's also going to be another stunner. So once you get your bulbs, of course the next thing you have to do is to pot them up. Now, I have been given a lot of different advice on these. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of an experiment and I may or may not sacrifice these bulbs. <laughs> this experiment but I'm going to try not to. I have been told that to make them grow a bushier plant you should cut the eye out of the bulb which is terrifying. <laughs> I'm so scared not only to chop my own finger off so yeah I'm going to pick probably one of them. No I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna go halves. I'm gonna do two I'm going to prick out the eye and the other three I won't and we'll see what the difference is in those. So yeah I'm gonna take them over to the table and do that now. So on the Kiwi Ladium's Instagram page you can see they have all of the pictures of the varieties that they sell and they're also starting to post pictures of um, videos of how to, for example, DI your Caladiums and what kind of soil to plant them in. So make sure to go and check out their Instagram page, they have a lot of good advice there. So I'm going to pick two that I'm going to um, cut the eyes off and the rest I'm not going to, just to see how they go. So I think I'm going to do um, Candidum and maybe Gingerland. Decision made, I'm going to do these two. So let's open them up and have a look. Okay, so this is the Gingerland one, but I'm guessing that's the eye. I'm just gonna have a look at Candidum. That one looks quite a bit different. I might not do that one, because I'm terrified. Let's have a look at Rosebud. 
I'm terrified because I don't know which way, which way up they go and I don't want to mix them up. Okay, so now I've got them all open. Um, I'm probably actually going to message the Kiwi Ladies people for a bit of advice. Um, I just don't want to get it wrong. All right, guys, this might be a little bit close, but I've just spoken with uh, the owner of Kiwi Ladiums, and they've told me that I am looking at the right spot to DI, so I will also show you guys uh, the right spot to DI so we don't start this up together. So I have all my bulbs laid out here for you. The two that I'm going to DI now are Rosebud. This one is Rosebud, and as you can see, it actually has six eyes on it. So it's got one, two, three, four, Five and six. I've been told to just do the main one so I'm just going to do the main one and maybe this top one here just because they look like they're the easiest to do. So I'm going to do that one and I'm going to do Candidin. So that one also has quite a few eyes um, so I'm just going to do a few of those also. So yeah I'm gonna show you how to do it. I hope you can see it good enough. They told me to cut out this one in the middle here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it to sit for 24 hours uh, before I plant it. Let's cut it out. If I chop my finger off, at least I have it on camera. This is terrifying. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, there we go. I think it's out. Yep, I hope you can see this. Okay. Bump. There it goes. Oh, so there is the eye of my bulb gone. So I'm gonna let that one sit. I'm gonna grab the next one. This one here is candidum and I'm going to cut out that middle eye in there. Oh, found it. <laughs> there we go. So there you go, there is the second one de-eyed. Now, uh, just for your information, uh, apparently this does delay the bulb's growth by about a week, so my other ones might pop up before these two, but that's fine, I'm, I'm more good for that if it means a bigger plant in the end. So there's my two bulbs de-eyed, I'm gonna let them sit to callus over for 24 hours, and the reason you do that is so that they don't get any kind of rot or any kind of infestation in them while they're in the soil. So I'll leave them to sit for 24 hours and I'll come back to you tomorrow. All right guys, it is now two days later actually since I de-eyed my bulbs and as you can see they're looking pretty all right just sitting here. So now I'm going to pot them up. Okay, excuse my delicious pants, but I'm about to pot them up and I just want to show you what I'm going to pot them up in. So I'm going to be using a mix of cocoa coir, some orchid mix, a little bit of perlite and some standard potting mix of course to make up the bulk. So now I'm going to mix them all together and I'm not going to actually do like a specific ratio, I'm just going to kind of mix it till it looks good. Now that I've made my potting mix up, I'm going to go ahead and fill my containers. Alrighty, so as you can see with this one here, I have filled it about half full. Because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your bulb in there and then you're going to fill it with the rest of your potting mix. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now and show you how I do it. So you've got to make sure with caladiums that you put them so that the bulb is facing upwards, of course, like all the bulbs. So as you can see, this one is quite obvious. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop it in there. There you go. You can see she's sitting right in the middle there. And then I'm going to fill her up with potting mix. And there you have it. One pot of Gingerland Caladiums. So I'm just going to do that with the rest of them now.
And there we go, there are all my planted caladiums. I'm so excited to watch their progress over the next couple of weeks. In regards to where to keep them after you've planted them, as you can see here, I've put them on the bottom shelf of my plant room. Uh, the reason for this is because my plant room gets to about 20 degrees, kind of, and they need to be around that temperature. So I think this will be perfect for them down here. I haven't watered them in, by the way, because the cocoa coir that I used was very wet already, and I definitely don't want to make them rot. So I might come back and give them... Ooh, is that a fly? Gross. So I might come back and give them a water once the soil is looking a little bit dry. So that is all for my video for you this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I also hope you got a couple of tips and tricks out of this video on how to plant your own caladiums. Make sure to go check out Kiwi Ladiums, I'll link them down below. And I'll pop their name up on the screen here. They have super quick shipping, really great service, um, so I definitely recommend buying from them. And once more, I have nothing to do with the drama that's going on about the caladiums in New Zealand, so this is not me picking sides or anything like that, that's purely just me making a random choice and going for Kiwi Ladiums. If you enjoyed this video and you got something helpful out of it, please make sure to hit that like button down below. It lets me know what kind of content you guys like. Also hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload my next Caladium update video. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.